All right, YouTube, I'm coming at you from a very special location now. I don't have a fancy gimbal or anything. I'm holding the camera with a tripod, and then the viewing screen is blocked by the receiver for my wireless mic. So it's a bit awkward to do this, but this is pristine, uh, world-class swampland with almost two complete miles of boardwalk that you can walk around. And there's all kinds of exotic wildlife and exotic plants. And this is right in the middle of the South Carolina low country. It's in Dorchester County. Nobody knows this is here. People that grew up in this area don't even know this, this swamp is here. It's, uh, I talk to people all the time that, that have no idea this place exists. I, wanted to make a video here during the coronavirus lockdown because I made some other uh, on location videos at some interesting places but they had this whole place shut down and then uh, as the lockdowns were ending they kept it shut down for a long time uh, now the interesting thing today it's it's not as swampy as what I've seen before it's it's kind of dry so maybe this is like the low season for the water. Now, it used to be that it was super hard to even find this place. There was no signs, and you have to drive a couple miles down like a half-size road, and then about a mile down a dirt path to get here. And they, they finally put up signs a few years ago, so you can actually find this place much easier now. Now, it used to be open six days a week, and it was either two dollars or four dollars to get in and sometimes there'd be no one at the desk to take the money anyway now it's only open three days a week and it costs twelve dollars to get in but one Saturday per month it's free to get in so this is the free day I came on the free day to make this video and there was still hardly any cars there's hardly anyone here when, when you come here uh, it's like your own private swamp paradise. Check this out. On, on top of the, you know, almost two miles of boardwalk, there's like shelters and, and benches everywhere. I mean, it's a huge amount of money is put into building and maintaining all this boardwalk. All right, I'm up on a platform overlooking Goodson Lake. It's pretty cool up here. Uh, once again, hardly anyone comes here. I had to walk through a bunch of spider webs just to get up here. So I may be the first person that's even been up here all day. Now here's a good area where the water's higher and you get the, the full effect. Um, you know, it, it's the full look of a hardcore swamp. And see, this place has benches everywhere, as if they were planning for huge crowds, but almost no one's here. Look, they put this sign up as if poison ivy was some kind of rare plant. And then there's like one little lonely piece of poison ivy. <laughs> I could take you to some other places where there's entire forests of poison ivy. Now, one of the first things you're going to notice about this place is You've got all these exotic uh, cypress trees that have roots sticking out of the ground like spikes. Hopefully, you're getting a good shot of this. And so, essentially, those are like snorkels for the tree's root system. Now, here's a really cool spot. It's called the meeting tree. Hopefully, you can see this well. Uh, so you get like a classroom type environment with the benches orbiting around this gigantic tree trunk. Now, supposedly they do bring school children here on field trips. I don't know how you get a big wonky school bus anywhere near this place, um, but apparently they do. Now I'm back near the beginning again. There's, there's supposed to be 1.8 miles of boardwalk. I actually burned through the whole thing really fast so I'm wondering if I missed a section because there's different forks in the path 
Uh, I finally did see a few people. So there's, there's two families with some small children. They've basically been at the front of this place. Um, once you get away from the screaming little girl, it was dead quiet the whole time. Um, I did not see very much wildlife this time, but it was, uh, as far as the noise level, it would have been perfect conditions because most of the time it was dead quiet. Um, I saw like two college age girls and one couple. Um, now it's super hot and muggy. Maybe all the animals are hanging out in the shade. Once again, it's free to get in one day a month and this is a free day and there's hardly anyone here. So if you come on a day when you have to pay $12, you might have the entire place to yourself. I don't know. Now here's a cool little feature. I'm, I'm still on wooden boardwalk, but I'm down here at swamp level. Apparently they made this uh, so I guess children could come and stand inside this hollowed out tree trunk, except now a big part of it's collapsed. So you can still kind of climb in here, but eventually this is just, this side is going to crumble away. Well, the past half hour, I've been walking back and forth between the beginning part and then back deeper into the trails. And I, I see the same exact people over and over still in the very beginning. And so once you're deep into the place, you've got it all to yourself and it's dead quiet. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just not seeing hardly any wildlife today. So as soon as I packed everything up, I finally find something. Right at the beginning by the building, there's four baby armadillos. The other two are underneath the boardwalk right now. Uh, now these aren't actually a native South Carolina species. People brought them in as pets and then let them loose. All right, there's a third one. I've never seen babies before. I see big ones dead in the roads. Alright, thanks for watching this video. Click the like button, post a comment below, and click the subscribe button. New video every few days.